What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another Beta Memoirs. And today we are actually going to talk about some individual stocks, <laughs> as opposed to yesterday when I kind of just gave uh, the state of the market. But uh, today, now that we've kind of seen where the markets open up a little bit, I kind of want to dive into the individual stocks at this point. So before we get started, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So being said, uh, we got continuation on the earnings this week. But uh, starting off with tomorrow morning, we do have uh, Palatier. Uh, we have uh, Advanced Auto tomorrow in the morning. And then I think uh, some bigger ones I am looking at uh, is Fastly, Tilray, Twillo, uh, Baidu on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we got Walmart, Roku, uh, Applied Materials, Dropbox. Um, then on Friday, we got John Deere and many, many others. So being said, um, let's just go ahead and pop right into uh, the charts. Since we kind of already did this spiel yesterday, uh, I just want to get, start getting into individual, individual stocks. Um, yesterday kind of just traded sideways, but it looks like we are starting to pop up. Uh, so if this gaps up again tomorrow, uh, I think, again, we'll have another very bullish week. Uh, again, Congress is closed this week, so we won't get any uh, stimulus news this week. But um, everything's trading flat right now, so we'll see how we open up tomorrow. Maybe we dive. Uh, we might dive down a little bit tomorrow, a little pullback, and then run. Uh, I think my uh, big stocks for um, – Tomorrow, or essentially, I have a Tesla NNDM uh, and NGA are two of my bigger plays that I want to get into. I'm already in a couple different plays. Like I said, I'm in Tesla already. I'm in you. I'm in WWE. Very good butcher. I have a position in Plant or Pelletier. I have a position in ALLM, uh, PLTR, XF and S A S T I. Those are all my current, uh, current positions. And again, just looking at NNDM and GA tomorrow, I have two other ones, but, um, not really ones. I'm a, they're penny stocks. So I'm kind of holding off. I'm getting to that point where I don't want to be more liquid again. So again, we'll see, but I like where Tesla's at right now. Uh, as far as on the hourly, uh, what really matters here is we need to break above this 200 tomorrow. Or overnight hopefully we do do that it is gapped up it is uh staying flat so hopefully by tomorrow this is over the 200 moving average and ready to start jetting back up and and testing that uh it's pretty heavy resistance at the 900 see if we actually break that uh square it's already really up there but i've talked about this uh, many times before everything is so positive for square right now I can see us earnings is still next week. So we still might get another run up for this to go for 300. I know it does seem high. Everything does seem high, but um, innovation, uh, whatever you want to call it, there's a lot of stuff priced in. Again, we talked about this yesterday about assets. I think everybody's just buying to have the assets and people aren't really selling at this point. Uh, Airbnb, um, depending on how we open tomorrow, this could be, could be a decent play. Uh, it's still been pumping a lot. Uh, it could be a major pullback here to just under 200. We're looking at 191. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we do pull back. Uh, it is playing a nice uh, trend here, though. So if that does happen, we will see how that goes. Uh, but being said, I think we might pull back, uh, test that 20, and then go from there. Apple, Apple looks good. I ain't going to lie. A lot of big tech is set up for this week too. So they're kind of on my radar. I, I like playing the big tech uh, plays. They've been kind of stagnant over the past uh, two weeks after earnings, but um, it looks like there's, they might get a little bit more feel um, to the push. Uh, so if they start up and start kicking off, like I said, um, we're really going to start pushing higher here. Uh, but Apple looks good on the daily. Uh, Facebook looks good on the daily. Facebook actually looks uh, ready to, take off at this point uh 
made a higher low here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we gap and run on this one. Uh, BYND, I've been waiting on this one to pull back even further. It has not. Uh, maybe we've established a new base here at um, 165. It's really kind of hard to tell on um, BYND because uh, normally with those huge run-ups like that, it normally uh, craps out pretty quick. It did crap out a little bit, but you know, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, it's Again, I don't like playing it this middle range. I want it to be down. I want it to really take a beating for BYND. Uh, that's, uh, I think, the safest way to play it because you do get a lot of wicks out of this thing. Uh, Etsy. Etsy just broke uh, the wedge on Friday. Uh, let's see if it can break all-time highs here. Uh, it's earnings. We might get another earnings run up on this one too um, by – uh, this week into next week. So if we do break this, I, I can see this running. Uh, how high it will go? I don't think it's going to try to test uh, 300 like square, but uh, still could probably get a good $20 move out of that uh, going into earnings. I think it's going to destroy earnings, especially with uh, uh, the Christmas and all that stuff uh, added into that. Uh, Disney had its earnings. Now Disney's starting to die off. Um, again, I think a lot of these stocks are going to start really pulling back here. Uh, but if big tech starts pushing, we might see, uh, you is one of them I'm in. I still like this setup is really good. It's been beaten down. Uh, I think after tomorrow, we're going to go try to test this 200. I think I, we wake up and it's up at this 200 mark. I'm really hoping it breaks over this. If we can break over this, we can get another run up to the 150 mark. Uh, then at that point, I'm hoping to offload some stuff at that point. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Pelletier, this is one I did get in late on Friday. Uh, does have earnings. I've been, um, I've had shares in this. It's not a huge position. Uh, I'm holding this for the long, well, longer term for this one. So if it does have a great earnings, uh, that's great. If it doesn't, if it comes back down a little bit, I uh, will just continue to add. And I want to swing this all year. It's this is a longer, um, longer term investment kind of thing here. So I'm not really too worried about this. I don't have any like short term plays on this at the moment. Uh, NNDM is another one I want to get in. Um, I really wish it came down to the 14. It, I don't, it looks like it's trying to sell, but that 200 is holding it. We'll have to see. I mean, if it's holding here tomorrow and it actually breaks back above the, the 20 and the 50 here, uh, I'll be looking to get into it. 16 to 18. Uh, we might just get a lot of the sideways action, to be honest, with NNDM. Um, but I do like this stock. This is a stock I've been watching closely. Um, this also will the NNOX here, uh, na Nano X Imaging. Um, it is sitting at that spot. This might actually be a good one for tomorrow as well. Uh, if it does stay here, the only thing I don't like is it's every time it pushes up, it's bouncing against these uh, these 20s, uh, 2050 and the 200 here EMA. So have to see that one goes. Um, High Tide is one I've wanted. I, I do this. This is one of the pennies I do have on my watch this week. I would really like it down at this 40 cent mark. <laughs> if that's going to happen, probably not. Considering the 200, normally with the pennies, the 200 moving average is a pretty solid uh, moving average. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if this actually moves up to the 55 cent mark here. And then uh, we get a bounce here and it just consolidates. If it starts doing that, I'll definitely be getting in high tide uh, for a longer uh, yearly play on that one. ALLM, this is one I've been in. I still like this play a lot. Uh, more of a long term for this one as well. A lot of my, all my pennies are kind of like long term for this month. Or not this month, but this this year, essentially. Um, I, they're essentially kind of like small investments. Um, just because I like the stocks, I did some uh, some research on these those different stocks, and I, f I feel like they can go far. So it's kind of one of those ones, just throw some money in it, let it sit for the year, see what happens. Uh, Planet 13 is one I really want to get back in, uh, but considering everything that's been going on with the MJ space, I can see this really pulling back. I'm kind of hoping we can get – it's almost at that 630, which is essentially the um, – that 630 mark is a solid support, so be interesting to see what happens here. But um, this is one that's it's always on watch. I love this this stock in uh, the Very Good Butcher. Actually, really good fun stocks to play. I do like them a lot. Uh, the fundamentals are fantastic. Um, these are actually two penny stocks that I really believe in. Uh, aside from um, this one here as well, 
EvoGen is also one that I really like as well, uh, but it's already up to $10. <laughs> Being said, uh, Planet 13, again, I'm one always on watch, very good butcher, want to watch. It's looking really good starting to wedge. Um, again, end of month, uh, this should be changing exchanges here. Um, once this gets on the new exchange, I think this is gone, if not before. We might start seeing a move out of this because it's been consolidating for a while. Uh, so we might start seeing a move this week uh, in Very Good Butcher. And I believe if we start moving, this thing is really going to start rocketing. Um, so I'll keep an eye on that one as well. Uh, Evo Gen, um, it's high. Again, I wanted to come back down. I have to see how that goes. If we get a correction or anything like that, that, that would definitely be one I'll be keeping an eye on. Uh, this PLTXF is what I'm watching. This is, a, a again, a, it had a great earnings, actually. Uh, they destroyed earnings on this one. That's why we got this little push up on this. Ultimately, this is, again, another penny that I'm just kind of holding for the year, kind of letting it play out. Uh, I do like this stock. It's uh, all plant-based. It's the Amazon of, of plant-based, essentially. They sell plants, and they do um, sell plant-based products. So being said, I do like that one for this year uh, with every, all the, the green and whatnots that are going on with that. So uh, riots. Right, would be good one for the year too. Um, I should have really grabbed it down here because I'm not sure we're going to really get any kind of pullback on Riot. If there is any kind of pullback, I'll, I'll definitely be watching. Um, but right now, it's, I mean, the possibilities that could happen with the Bitcoin uh, could be insane, but we'll have to see how that essentially plays out. Uh, crisp, uh, I'm not looking at Crisp. TSIA, I do like this one a lot, but I want it down here at the 1230 mark. Uh, ENPH, I do like ENPH. Uh, I missed my entry. My entry would have been back here. Uh, again, if we drop it all, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I missed this on Friday. I'm actually kind of upset because I <laughs> I did call this out on um, one of the chats I was in, and it broke out. I mean, it traded sideways all day, but after hours, it started ripping up. Um, kind of upset i did not get in that one but again i don't i don't want to spread myself too thin right now i think i'm in a lot right now i don't normally hold this many uh, again i have a lot of pennies that are kind of just playing for the year but uh, i do have some some bigger positions that i i'm waiting on to play out before i start diving into anything else in case for some reason i get caught in a pullback uh yeah i don't want to be too i want to have some powder to be able to average down if need be uh neo um neo could be a play this year or this year neo could be a good play possibly tomorrow it is wedging if it's broken out above all these emas tomorrow and this wedge uh should be a nice little run here and again if it breaks at 66 i think it's it's gone at that point uh so neo is one to keep on i don't really like playing there's a big uh, flag here on uh lucid as well Looks like all the EVs are back in play. Uh, like I said, Tesla started moving on Friday. Uh, so it looks like all the EVs are back in play this week. So uh, normally when Tesla starts moving, I concentrate a lot of my my efforts, my scalping and everything on Tesla. Being said, uh, NGA is coming towards where it is um, uh, the buyout and stuff with, with Lion. So at that point... Um, going to have to see how, how this works, but I do. It's at a particular position right now uh, that I do like. Uh, so if it's holding here, I want to try to grab some shares in this as well um, before it jets this week. Uh, so NGA is one I do have a highly on watch this week as well. Um, not looking at that one. I'm trying to think. Um, Snow... Really, and as far as, again, the, um, as far as this week, Fastly, I think the biggest ones uh, for earnings is probably Fastly, Tilray. I mean, Twilo is good, too, but Twilo is so high. I remember when Twilo was way down at the 120 mark. Now it's way up to 400 already, so I can't believe I missed that one, but uh, Roku is good. I don't like playing Walmart. Uh, Shopify is good, but it's, I mean, I think the biggest one too, to keep an eye on is just, uh, Pelletier, uh, Palantir, Pelletier, sorry, Pelletier. 
Uh, Pelletier's earnings in the morning. I think if that crushes earnings, we might get some uh, continuation on that. Uh, spot right now, it's not in the greatest position. Uh, if I would have had it when I was going to originally get into it, it would have been a nice run, but uh, Lemonade is getting too high. Again, I'm looking for stuff to base out. I don't want to catch it mid-run. If I do that, it's kind of, kind of more of a day trade. It's not a longer swing. I like to do the longer swings from the base. Uh, if possible, um, to see no, uh, the video is up high. To see how this works out, AMD the chips again. I don't like playing the chips that much. I'm trying to let me see. Oh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm is one of them too. It is basing. It started to run. This might be one to uh, keep an eye on as well uh, for the week. I haven't really played. Qualcomm too much. I think the most I've done is, is shares. I think I might have played options a couple, maybe once or twice. Uh, but ultimately, if this does pull back into the zone at all, if for some reason um, we dive a little bit tomorrow and then we do a dip and a rip tomorrow, uh, this will probably be a good one. Again, watch for the 200 here. It did bounce right off that 200 EMA. Uh, but it's still, I mean, if we bounce back into the zone for about a $4, $5 move, but if we can get above this 200, then we got some more room to run and try to feel that that push down. Let me see here. What else do we got? Z. He's really high. Had great earnings. Looks like it's bear flat or bull flag and ready to run again. Um, a lot of these. Trying to look and see tap. Uh, this is one maybe to keep an eye on too. This one is one that uh, could be a good play this year uh, because uh, Rock, uh, yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, he's got uh, an energy drink coming out that's, um, especially, uh, I guess, sponsored by Molson. Uh, being said, uh, this could have a, a crazy bounce back year. I'm kind of keeping this one on watch, just kind of see how it plays out. Uh, if there's any kind of momentum in this thing, I think this thing can really run, especially because uh, The Rock um, endorses things very well, promotes things very well, uh, and this thing could really rip, right? I think uh, you're looking at a almost a ten dollar move right here alone. Uh, so if it gets any kind of momentum, it could probably really rip. Uh, I'm trying to see here a bull flag on that one. L L K C O. WWE is also one I'm in. Uh, looking for the turnaround on this one. I did get back over that 20, so I'll be surprised if we get over this 50 and then slowly cruising up. And the reason I like this one is it's like slow and steady. Um, some people might not like that, but if it's one of the ones you like, you don't want to worry about it too much. That's why I like the WWE play. Is that a good base? You put it in there. You kind of just let it sit there, and you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, it normally only kind of drops like this on. Um, I mean, that was an earnings play, uh, but I could see it slowly. It slowly pushes up like this and nice and easy. So it's not tearing up your contracts or anything like that. Um, ASTI. I am in this one. Uh, it's been another penny stock I'm kind of holding for the year. I do like this company a lot. If you don't know what it is, I highly suggest you check this company out. Um, this is a robotic company. Their, their um, business model is actually really interesting. Uh, again, another company to check out artificial intelligence on the security side. They do like mobile robots, uh, robotics, which is actually kind of interesting. It wasn't something that really I was interested in, but if something you want to check out, go ahead. AMC, I have actually might take a leap in this um, just for recovery, only because I think, again, uh, People, certain people, right, aren't going to let this AMC sink. I think it's a it's a part of our society, at least for the short term. Long term, maybe different, but as of right now, for the next five years, I think AMC still has a play and could bounce back. Um, I'm trying to look here, uh, Pow, man, Pow is up to nine ninety. Wow, and I really missed out on that, and it still missed earnings, but. How was a play off of ammunition? Uh, there was a shortage of ammunition. That's why that one's up so high. Let's see here. Um, this SAVA might actually be a really good play too. I should probably actually add to this and get in this as well. Um, but 
But yeah. So guys, um, this one's a little short, I think. Uh, but we got some good plays. Again, we want to see if we pull back tomorrow. If we pull back tomorrow, we have some great entries. EVs look like they're ready to take. Big Tech looks like it's ready to uh, take off. I've been playing a lot of pennies because Big Tech's been kind of dead. Uh, but when Big Tech starts moving, those are the plays I like to play. I like to get back into Big Tech. I trust those companies more. Uh, again, if there's any kind of hit in those companies, um, they are the quicker ones to recover. Uh, and now that they've been rested, I think they're ready to rock and roll again. But again, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So being said, uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Take care, manage risk, and let's go make some money. All right, later, ladies and gentlemen.